Hi friends, in this tutorial we will deploy an Apache Camel uh, program on JBoss Fuse. The program that we are going to implement will copy files from uh, one folder to other and this logic will be implemented using Apache Camel. Fuse. We will divide this tutorial into four parts. The first part will be Apache Camel introduction. The second part will be JBoss Fuse Introduction. The third part will be Eclipse Setup. And the last part will be We'll write a code. So, what is Apache Camel? Apache Camel can be defined as a mediation framework. So what is a mediation framework? In an enterprise, a number of systems of different types exist. Some of these might be legacy systems while others may be new. These systems often interact with each other and uh, they need to be integrated. This interaction or integration is not easy. One way to achieve uh, this integration is by writing the code which will bridge the differences between the two systems. For example, consider we have two systems, a legacy system and a new system. Now we can write the code which will bridge the differences and uh, help the integration of legacy system with the new system. But suppose if tomorrow any changes happen to this legacy system, this entire code will have to be changed and refactored for integration with the new system. So here is where Apache Camel comes into play. Apache Camel acts as a mediation layer between the legacy system and the new system. So what are the features of Apache Camel? Some of the features are Apache Camel is a lightweight framework. It provides us with a number of components. For example, ActiveMQ component can be used to interact with ActiveMQ endpoints. Uh, Apache Camel uses message exchange uh, patterns. This helps in uh, holding any type of uh, message that has to be routed through the system. And also Apache Camel, it, it, uh, it uh, provides uh, support for a number of DSLs. For example, you can write code using Java DSL or you can write code using Spring uh, DSL uh, depending on whatever is your requirement. Now let's have a look at JBoss Fuse. JBoss Fuse is an ESB. Now what is an ESB? ESB stands for Enterprise Service Bus. It can be defined as a tool designed to help implement an application using SOA principles. So when an application is implemented using ESB, the different modules they interact with each other through the bus. Other than JBoss Fuse, the other ESBs available in the market are Talent and Mule ESB. To download JBoss Fuse, go to the Red Hat website. From there, you will download a zip file. Unzip this uh, zip file and go to the bin folder and go to fuse.bat. If all the Java settings are proper, the JBoss Fuse will start. Do a list command. And we'll see what are the features that have been installed in this JBoss Fuse. Now, one thing uh, that needs to be mentioned here is that everything in JBoss Fuse is a bundle. Bundle is a type of packaging. Uh, it is actually an OSGI bundle. OSGI stands for Open Service Gateway Initiative. And uh, we'll also have to uh, package a code that we are going to write to uh, uh, an OSGI bundle. We'll see next how we can do this. For the third and the fourth step, that is Eclipse setup and writing a code, we'll make use of the reference material available at javainuse.com. So, let's go to the site first. Here, go to Apache Camel JBoss Fuse examples. Deployment on JBoss Fuse. So, here we'll show how to configure the development environment for deployment of Camel project on JBoss Fuse. To begin with, as mentioned in the site, let's create a simple Maven project in Eclipse. Take this create a simple project, go on next.
Now we'll configure the POM file. We'll have to add the dependencies that are required for the camel project. Currently we'll require only a single dependency that is camel core for a hello world project. Also we'll have to add the plugin orb.apache.felix this is required because we have mentioned the packaging as, as bundle and to uh, achieve this we will have to use the org.apache.felix plugin so let's copy these from here Now we have finished the deployment uh, configurations that was required for deploying this project on JBoss Fuse and now this will be deployed as a bundle. The next step would be we will have to write a camel configuration file which will have a route for transferring files from one folder to other. For this we will have to create a folder structure in uh, camel in our camel project. The folder structure should be such that in the resources folder we will have to first create a meta and a folder and inside it the spring folder. Inside this we will have to write a configuration file. The configuration file will be a camel configuration. It will con contain a camel context and inside the camel context it will have a camel route. Here in the camel route we write, we write two routes. One a from that is once uh, from this folder we have to copy it to this folder. From C inbox, we have to copy it to the C out box. No need to create these folders in the C directory. Once we run a program, they will be automatically created uh, in the C drive. So let's start it. So we'll create our camel configuration file here. First, we'll have to create the folders. Inside this will create the configuration file. You can name it anything. I'll name it as application context.xml. Finish. We'll copy this configuration here. And next we'll run this. Also we'll have to start our JBoss use again. We will have to run the command to install the bundle which is install mvn colon our repository name com.java in use slash artifact id that will be camel slash hello slash world world and the snapshot The bundle is 234 just to a start bundle and do a list and yeah so if you can if you see a, a bundle it has been deployed successfully now go to the C drive you will see that an inbox folder okay it has been created now we'll just copy a file uh, suppose I'll copy this control C Okay, so if you can see here, uh, then an outbox has also been generated, and this file has uh, been copied in this outbox also. So uh, a camel program is running successfully. That uh, we have also deployed it successfully on uh, JBoss Fuse. Hope uh, this tutorial was useful for you. Also, you can download the source code from JavaInUse.com from here. Okay, thanks, guys. <coughs>